five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I was about to say this weekend, but it's actually Monday. Um, but we're in the grill and we're doing a little siblings staycation. It's my first time in the grill since like 2017, but I think my siblings haven't been here in like years. So we're going to do a lot and I'm really excited to bring you guys along. Last time I stayed, I actually stayed next door at Footprints, but this time we're at Skylark which has been on my dream list for so long. I'm just in love with this hotel. I checked in yesterday, um, we got in in the evening and we kind of just walked on the beach and then ate at Miss Lily's for dinner, which is connected to the hotel. But today I think we're just going to enjoy the beach, go to Rick's Cafe, check out everything that Miguel has to offer and just be tourists in our own country just for a little bit. There's a nice little the food there, you know. Try and catch it now. I'm not touching that. <laughs> not you again. You want me to lose that thing, though? <laughs> I have the remix of this song. And it's not you. Look, can you... Okay, I would guess you're going to... Emma, 
what's been your favorite part of the trip so far? Mine. No, uh -huh. <laughs> what? <laughs> A million photos of <laughs> <laughs> I have so much work to do back home. Oh my god, I am literally going to miss this mirror and this room. Oh my god, the vibes, the aesthetic, immaculate Skylark. I will be back. <laughs> I will literally be back. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so today was our last full day in the grill and <laughs> I wanna cry, <laughs> but I'm not going to. This has just been, I feel like I say this in every vlog, but this has just been such an amazing and fulfilling trip. Um, I haven't been to the grill in three years and even then I feel like it was a completely different trip because it was a friend's trip and we were doing different kinds of activities and it was more like a par. Being able to just see Negril as both a tourist and a local has just been so lovely and it's just been such an amazing experience. I just feel like my greatest takeaway has honestly been the people. I feel like everyone has been so kind. I've just met such amazing people and had such great conversations with literally the most random people it could be a tourist passing by or a vendor on the beach or someone in the restaurants like just being able to hear their stories and just experiences it's just been really refreshing and it's just been a nice change of scenery especially being in kingston for the past few months and being a bit isolated um so yeah, you know, I found that people have been very respectful even with COVID going on. It's a bit busier because of Christmas season, but there's still protocols in place. And literally everyone's wearing masks at the restaurants, hotels, everywhere I've visited. The mask wearing is in place and it's actually been a bit reassuring because I was a bit nervous coming into it because I knew it wouldn't just be locals, it would also be a tourist environment. But Overall, it's been a great trip and I'm so sad to leave, but trust me when I say I'm, I'm, I, I will be back soon. Gosh, you know, like the drive from Kingston, it's like four hours and it feels so long, but it's honestly so worth it. Like it's so worth it. I'm so glad we stayed at Skylark, not only because the property and everything is beautiful, but just because it was just an amazing location. I felt like it was very central to everything and it was just such a great environment everyone has been so kind and that's also why we we're able to visit rock house today because it's their sister hotel so it was really nice to spend the day there and also you know experience the beach side but also the cliff side and i just <laughs> jamaica nice man jesus but our final night i think me and emma are just gonna eat at miss lily's again it's honestly so convenient having it on the compound and also with curfew and everything it's just very easy so i think we're gonna eat there again the food is really good and we ate at kenny's italian last night which was very nice it was a very cool vibe it honestly felt like i was in europe like the music they were playing like some techno music and they had all the the rattan lamps and twinkle lights and oh it was a mouse guide aesthetic but yeah honestly i don't want to leave but how am I supposed to leave? I don't know. Hello. <laughs> Good morning. So it's around 9.45 and checkout is at 11. So kind of just chilling in the room for the last hour and packing up and chilling out in preparation for this four hour car ride. But hopefully it won't be too bad because I think we're planning on stopping in mo bay or discover bay or something for food but this trip was just so amazing it's not done yet i'm hoping we can stop at chill pops on our way out considering it's literally just across the road um and i've been dying to check it out because i've just heard such amazing things but yeah it was just an amazing trip and i wish i was staying longer i feel like it feels so short like i could have easily done another day because our first day and this day are kind of half days and 
I just feel like it passed by so quickly but time does fly when you're having fun so can't complain but yeah I feel like this was also just a really nice break from work and the past few months of just settling into actually living home and it's also just a nice pause before the Christmas season just gets a bit hectic. This was just such a lovely and just calming and relaxing and everything I needed staycation and I really do hope to come back soon. I can't let another three years pass. I can't. Like next year I'm back. Anyways, see you guys soon in another video. Make sure to read my latest blog post, a Jamaican made Christmas gift guide where I highlight 15 amazing local brands for your Christmas shopping needs, all of which are made with love in Jamaica. And make sure to look out for the Negril blog post that will be coming sometime after this video. And also make sure to subscribe. More videos are coming, I promise. I know everyone is batting me up because it was a while. I promise another three months won't go by without a new video. I just have so many great ideas for the new year. We're starting fresh and I can't wait. So yeah, see you guys soon and love you lots.